All right, welcome to The Last Word. Troy Allsaker, Mark Downey, glad you could join us. Another exciting edition. Troy, exciting. a lot to talk about. I mean, what more could we talk about right now than the opening up of, of snapper season? Love it. I mean, I can't wait. You know? I, I woke up to a calendar invite and says snapper season officially <laughs> begins. I said, yes, today's I, a good day. I put that on the calendar about six months ago <laughs> exactly. in anticipation of this. <laughs> but uh, unfortunately, we did not get out this past weekend. It's all right. And, uh, but, you know, I heard it was just crazy out there. There's boats everywhere, and yeah. that's kind of to be expected. Man, that's uh, probably yeah. overfished at that point, so hopefully. Yeah, you know, um, there's, good, there's good things and bad things about the opening weekend of uh, snapper season. Um, the good thing is is that you go out to the wrecks, and you don't really have to do any bottom. You don't have to use your bottom machine. You, you see all the boats. They're everywhere. <laughs> you you know can kind of see how they're drifting and right. how to anchor up. And, right. you know, that kind of makes it easy. When you, yeah. you and I go out a lot of times in the middle of the week, and well, we get out and sneak out there. for a few hours, there's nobody out there. And we got to, you know, find the bottom. And we got to drift a little bit, figure out which direction the wind and the current's going to pull us before we can anchor up. It takes a lot of work. Right. So that's kind of the benefit of it. So I don't know. There's yeah. pros and cons I mean, to everything. There, but, except you know. if you go out in storms and you're want, trying to dodge. Water, uh, water uh, the yeah, funnels uh, or whatever you call those yeah. things. <laughs> <laughs> hey. We get a day Die off, hard. we go fishing, don't we? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Come hell, hell or high water, literally. <laughs> yeah, that's the truth. But, uh, you know, a lot going on in the uh, in the sports world, so we'll get right to the sports. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Hockey. The, uh, um, my team. The, uh, the uh, Lightning. Just keep rolling. <laughs> the Flyers. <laughs> yes, in, in, I, I know that's what you're trying to say. The Flyers yes. in local hockey. Yes. Um, the Ice Flyers, of course, just took their third championship in four, four seasons. That's excellent. Um, that's which, excellent. you know, looking back at their team last year, they probably should have won last year. I mean, four, it could have been four in a row. Could have, would have, should have. Right. But, uh, I mean, they won before that, the year before that, right? And then the year before that. So, really, in, this, in the last six years, they've been there every year. It, it's... It's really unprecedented, you know, the, mm -hmm. the talent that they brought through, the coaching that they've had has been unprecedented. Uh, I don't know how they're going to follow it up next year. I don't see how it's possible. It seems like, you know, maybe... Uh, maybe we, back we, to back, three years out of four. Well, you know, they're, they're probably going to lose a coach. Yeah. Rod Aldoff is probably going to leave. I'm sure the guy is going to get a, opportunities in higher right. leagues. Right. And he's going to get more money, and, and I'm sure the guy's gone. I mean, the guy's produced winners, right. no doubt about it. Two out of three yeah. years... He's not going to stay. That's right. the bottom line. So we're going to go, you know, figure out if we can get another coach come in that can be as successful as he has, um, or you know, rebuild. Who knows? But uh, the Wahoos in, in full swing now. They're looking good. I, I believe they're haven't in been first to a game yet. Or? Darn it! I guess. Yeah, you got to when you work a lot. <laughs> you got to change that, dude. Even if you get to the latter parts of the game, it's yeah. a lot. It's good yeah, time. But it. it's um, a gorgeous you got, you know, too. You got a lot going on. Kids running around everywhere. And yeah. Yes. Wife running around everywhere. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but uh, believe me, I've been there, man. I was in that re recluse stage where all I did was work and went home every single day for, for years. Yeah, Got to pay your dues. Now, now the kids dues. are getting a little bit older, and I have the ability to, to get out a little bit more, so that's kind of nice. But uh, Who's your hockey team? The Lightning, you said? The Lightning. Where are they from? Sorry, I'm not a huge, huge NHL the guy. The entire state of Florida just paused. Oh, Tampa Bay, right? Tampa. Okay, all right, see you. Hey, they've been putting a good product on the ice the uh, last few years, and, um, of course, they've won, won the Stanley Cup. And, um, you know, they're, they're a fun team to watch, really exciting. In fact, I've, I've thought about maybe either driving or flying down there to catch a game. That'd be in awesome. the next round. I heard um, Tampa's a, a nice city, fun city. It, it's nice. Uh, it's not for me. I'd rather live here. Yeah. But, uh, but, you know, people people seem to like it. It's a little bit too warm once you get down there. Mm -hmm. uh, not that I, I prefer warm weather, but... Um, not too warm. Know. I don't know. I, I kind of like a little change of season, too, that we get here. So, yeah. But, uh, yeah, so the uh, Braves, um, I don't even really like to talk about it anymore. It's just kind of... <laughs> Depressing. And Haven't we been saying that for the last three years on the show? <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. And um, and you know the uh, uh, the Padres. Um, you know, I know you and Doc Jacobs both big Padres fans. And there you go, um, Doc. That a boy. Yeah, you know he, he, it's not good times for for Padre fans. More Braves. So. Yeah, we're both. Oh in the well, same I mean that goes without saying. Uh, there was a big article recently talking about the Braves organization, John Sherholtz, who you know brought in. The 91 Braves, and of course, mm -hmm. we, we know what happened in the 90s with the Braves. Phenomenal franchise and built a storied franchise. 
and it's just all being flushed down the toilet right now. But they're saying, you know, patients are rebuilding right now. They've got a stock farm system, and, uh, you know, we're going to see what happens. But uh, you, you never know what, what can happen with those types of situations. It, right. it, it truly could be a, a banner year next year, or it could just be another dismal another flop. season. So, um, you know, the Royals are a good example of what a good farm system can do. They've yeah. built a very successful mm -hmm. franchise now, and... Of course, the general manager there was with the Braves back in the 90s, so, you know, they all they have ties, but it's right. pretty cool. But right. anyway, um, I don't know. That's all I really have for sports. I mean, is there anything else I'm missing right now? I mean, we could actually talk a lot of real estate this time, you know, for once. Maybe even some politics. Who knows? Yeah, there you go. But, uh, Sounds good to me. Um, yeah, you know, real estate, just to kind of get in, and we'll get into our, our pictures here in a second, if we have time or if we have to go to break, I don't know, but... Um, the market's really taken off right now. And, you know, I know we always kind of hesitate when we say that because there's always some caveats to that. Right. But overall, the market's looking pretty solid. It's extremely um, solid. Yeah. yeah, you know, yeah. considering it's an election year and you never know what's going to happen with an election year, um, you know, my belief is, and call me crazy, people will probably send me hate mail, I believe that if Trump is a president, we're going to see an explosion in real estate. We're going to see an explosion in the market because I think people realize that the guy's going to do something with the economy. Right. Some people may not believe he's going to do as much as, as he says he will, but I personally believe he will. I think right. the guy knows how to, to spark, he knows how to run businesses, and yeah, he, clearly. he's been successful, and um, I think he can do the same thing with our economy. And I think it really starts with capital gains, lowering the capital gains for, for real estate. I think that's going to spur a lot of investors get their money back in the market. Yep. Uh, I know a lot of them that, that just are waiting to see what's going to happen. 35% capital gains is not fun. And no. the good old days, I was talking to a client uh, yesterday, he said, ah, oh, the good old days when it was 15% for mm -hmm. long-term capital gains. Yeah. So you held a property for a year, you sold it, and you only got taxed 15%. That's it's huge. Just, yeah, fair though. I mean, come on, 35% takes so much your whole entire profit margin out of question. Well, know. it's kind of like a car. You buy a car and you know you pay $30,000 for it. You pay taxes on it. I don't know what it is, 6% overall. I think it it's a little higher at the beginning at the first 5,000 and it drops after that or whatever, but right. let's just say 6%. Um, you sell the car a year later and you pay, and the next person pays taxes on that again. That's absurd. Right. I mean, it stimmies the economy. They, changes like that can make a big difference. And you know, people say, oh, we gotta support the economy, we gotta support the government. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? 71% of every dollar that you're taxed goes to entitlements. Mm -hmm. Does that sound fair? 71 cents of every dollar nope. that's taxed goes to entitlements? Uh, you, oh, you don't know what an entitlement is. Oh, <laughs> allow me to tell you what an entitlement is. Welfare, HUD, um, food stamps. Now, don't get me wrong. I believe in, and actually, I could go on. Cell phones. Are you kidding me? Cell phones. People have to have cell phones. Right, right, right. If you're below a certain income range, you get a free cell phone. Are you kidding me? Give them a pager for crying out loud. Right. Um, but you know what? I, 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 I totally believe in, the, in part of the welfare system. I believe that people need it. Right. I believe that there are certain people that need to get back on their feet. They're trying. They're, 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 look, they're trying to improve their lives. But let's face it, it's been abused for the far too The majority of it's been abused. When you go to the store and you see people paying for food with EBT and then they buy $500 worth of lottery tickets, booze, cigars, I mean, come on, man, that's Yeah, that's exactly. Absurd. And, you know, I'm not going to judge people for what no, they do. Sure. But, but if you're going to take money from the government, which is basically you're taking money from me because right. I'm, I'm paying a lot of taxes, I promise you that. Um, I do kind of take offense to that, you know, when I see that kind of stuff. Yeah. And I take offense when I, when I hear that they're selling these cars. I see it in the paper where people are getting busted with these rings where they're selling their food stamp money or whatever yep. to people for, you know, 75 cents on the dollar or whatever right. to get the cash. What are they doing with that cash? I mean, you, you go figure. Right. But anyway, having said all that, real estate is coming back around. It is. It's improving slowly, and it's been a very long, slow climb since 2008 right um, but it's coming back around um property management my my uh my acquisitions in the property management area is, is dropped tremendously which is a sign that properties are selling again right. so that's a good sign right but uh on that note we're going to take a commercial break but when we come back we're going to show you some some listings that we have for sale as well as a couple rentals and we'll tell you why we only have a couple rentals so stay with us we'll be right back the best part of our experience working with Steve and Cornerstone was our ability to get into our new house on time. Um, we had to move out of our rental and be in our new house before October and we were able to do that. 
Uh, we've used some mortgages uh, lenders in the past and they were all big companies. Uh, that everything was done over the phone or through email so there's no personal interaction and we really appreciated that. We would definitely recommend Cornerstone Mortgage. Um, we had a wonderful experience. It was very personable so for anyone looking to buy a home we definitely recommend Cornerstone. All right, thanks for staying with us. Steve Jones, Cornerstone right great there. Great job, great, great job, Steve. Great uh, lender. I'll tell you what, you know, if I pimp something, pimp, I like that word. <laughs> Am I allowed to use that on TV? Um, you just did. I, I just did. <laughs> um, it's because I believe in it. No. And, uh, you know, Steve Jones, and I know there's a couple good lenders in town. I know you work with another one as well. Um, and I know you work with Steve as well. Mm -hmm. But, um, if you know, it's very important to make sure you're using a lender who's being straight with you. Right. And that's the biggest thing. Right. You know, not feeding you what you want to hear. Um, also, they can kind of finagle those numbers and make it work out for themselves a lot of times. And, um, you know, I, I, want a, I want a lender that's going to make sure that he's looking out for my client first. Right. Looking out there, yeah, I want my lender to make money. I got to make money. But, you know, we want to make sure that they're not being taken advantage. And sometimes lenders will say, oh, we can knock you down to 3%, but then they're charging you, you know, a bunch of junk fees and things that you really shouldn't be paying for. And it really doesn't come out to your best advantage. So right. um, I know with Steve that he's going to take care of the client. He's going to do them right. He's going to be a, a above board and be honest and ethical. And, and that's what we're all about. So. Yeah, exactly. But anyway, we're going to show you some listings. And we only have a couple rentals because there just are none. Right. So, you know... I told you our acquisitions are down, our, our, our intake of new rental properties, it's down, but the inventory is down overall as a result, and there's not many available for people to rent right now, so um, there's just not a lot. And you know, if you're looking to move right now, I tell you two things. One, don't move if you're <laughs> renting. Right. Two, buy a house. It's, a, it's a, actually a better market for buying. Right. Um, but if you're if you are looking to to rent something else somewhere I, I would say that you need to plan out about 90 days make sure you can secure a property maybe even talk to a couple of good companies in town and see what they have coming up so you can maybe get your name on that list to get into that into that property first right um, we do that sometimes um, although we don't necessarily hold properties for people we you know, once they become available they first come first serve but uh, with that said guys are you ready all right, the first one, 3368, two sisters, not three sisters, but not two. one sister, <laughs> two sisters way. Three bedroom, two bath, 1,800 square feet, 124.9. Troy, that's your listing, right? Yes, sir. It's a nice house, Great good house. location, convenient to just about anything in Pensacola. Mm -hmm. You can be to NAS, you can be to Cordova Mall, yep. airport, beaches, um, UWF, beaches. It's all within, I'd say, 15, 20 minutes tops anywhere. Mm, exactly. So it's a pretty good location, nice house. The next one is a beauty. This is a listing that I have, 1781 West Kingsfield Drive. Actually, I think it's, is it road? I, I think it's road. It's a typo. Mm -hmm. um, probably my fault, so my, my apologies on that. This is an unbelievable house. This is like an estate here, and you can see the gated entrance. Um, you have private access. Um, you got the horse, the pastures, beautiful land, five acres of land. Oh my gosh, am I right on that? Four acres of land, sorry. Uh, we'll call it five. It's probably close to five. I don't know. <laughs> um, you know, as salespeople, we like yeah. to embellish yeah, things yeah, anyway. Bit, you know, don't let the truth get in the way of a good sale. <laughs> <laughs> Four bedroom, two bath, 2,200 square feet of living. This is a gorgeous house. That's the laundry room. It looks like a kitchen, but it's, it's the laundry room. Um, unbelievable uh, amenities in this house. Uh, you have the outside stables, the, the tack. Um, Gosh, what is wrong with me today? We went fishing this morning. We, we, let's just go ahead and fess up, Troy. We went fishing early this morning. We're a little bit out of our game. We're tired. I can't think straight. But now, you know, you can check out this house online at uh, 94andhome.com. Um, also, markdowningandassociates.com. And I don't even know if they're on yours, Troy, but mm -hmm. they probably can they find are. it there. Yep. So that's a beautiful house. And we would love to show you that house if you're interested. Call Troy or, or myself, and we'll be glad to show it to you. The next one, 917 Barclay Street, four bedroom, two bath, 2,600 square feet, 200 and is it 45,000 now? No, it's 245,000. 245,000. Yep. And this is in the uh, southwest section of Pensacola. Great location. Look at the floors. This is a beautiful house. It's unbelievable. Under $100 a square foot for a, a very, very nice home like this. It's hard to find. Great yeah. condition. Manchester subdivision. Yep. You can't beat it. Separate shower there in the. The master bath, it's awesome. All right, the next one, 1997 Crown Point. This is a vacant piece of land, almost a half acre. If you're looking to build, 
you want sunset views, calm waters so most of the time. It's, it's a really, really nice place to live. I actually used to live in the preserve. This is a gated subdivision and I uh, love it there. It's a beautiful, beautiful area. And $160,000 is a great price to be on the water. I can't, I still can't, can't believe that people can't could. Can't believe it. Do, if you understood, people were paying, I think the person who probably bought this one paid $300,000. All those lots were going for around $300,000 and up on the same exact body of water right here, the same yep. subdivision. Yep. I don't know if this exact one, but it probably did sell for three, 300 at one point. You can get it for 50 cents on the dollar still. Mm -mm -mm. That's unbelievable. Yeah, I can't believe it. And it won't last long. It will not last long. Once the, this market starts changing a little bit, so people start building again. Right. Which we're gonna we've see already it. seen. We've seen a lot of new builds going up. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, the home builders are definitely, but the the indi or the uh, individual, yeah. you know, private contractors. Well, even are... like fishing, like you said, we drive down the uh, that exact bay yeah, and you see yeah. a lot of new homes yeah. going up on yep. the water. That's true. Yeah. All right, the next one, seven sixty Hanley Downs Drive, Cantonment, Florida. This is a four bedroom, two bath, eighteen hundred square foot home, one hundred and seventy thousand dollars. Again, gorgeous. Look at this beautiful house. I don't know if you have anything to add there, Troy. Yeah, they're well taken care of. Um, again, it's in a great location uh, right off uh, 297 and Kingsfield Road. Yeah, great um, location. Great school district. Yeah, A-rated schools, uh, nice backyard, very, very nice landscaping. Again, um, can't beat it for the yep. price. All right, we're going to shift back down to the south, uh, south side of, of Pensacola. And this is Center Street, three bedroom, two bath, 2,325 square feet, 187.9 is the price and a beautiful little house here. Actually, I say a little, it's big. Mm -hmm. It's a big house and a phenomenal price. Great location near NAS, Quarry Station, the VA hospital, Naval Hospital, all that. So Key, yeah. good location. Yeah. yeah, right. Get to Purdue Key quickly. All right, now we're going back north again. 10461 Senegal Drive, three bedroom, two bath, 1200 square feet, 112.5 for this beautiful little house. Great condition. Love the uh, wood style flooring. Uh, very open it's a very spacious floor plan for 1200 square feet i've actually been in this house and i think i've been in this house is, is this one of our rentals turn sales i think so i think this is dan's listing mm -hmm. um great house great location uh, up by uwf so all right the next one 358 bunker hill drive four bedroom three bath almost 2800 square feet just listed this house in lake charlene and if you know anything about lake charlene i cannot explain the phenomenon but everybody wants to be in Lake Charlene right now. They do. The, everything Crazy. sells mm -hmm. instantly. So if you're looking for Lake Charlene, you're watching the show, you do not have any time to spare. You need to call us. That was a really good sales pitch. It sounded really impressive. But it's actually true. That's, That's what's so weird. Right. Is we that, had you know, 6669 Lake Charlene Drive that we listed in Lake Charlene under contract in two days. Two days. Yeah, mm -hmm. and everything I've seen that's competitive has it's sold in, in literally quickly. in days. Yep, very quickly. All right, the next one, 9430 Kanui or Kanai, or who the heck Kanui. knows. It's one of those uh, Hawaiian. Hawaiian words. Yep. I like it though, it's pretty cool. It's a great location to live in. Mm -hmm. Get the sea breezes coming off the uh, bay, the south breezes, actually, it's really cool. Uh, literally cool. Three bedroom, two bath, <laughs> 1450 square feet of living. Tile floors, $140,000 and you know, this is a great, is it vacant now? Is it ready to go? It's vacant, ready to go. Yeah. All new paint, as you can see, remodeled bathrooms. Wow. You're on a canal. It's not, you know, a huge it's deep shallow water, water canal. canal yeah, but, yeah. but it's still canal front, nonetheless. There's a boat yeah. ramp in your backyard. You could launch a kayak or a there canoe, a uh, jet ski. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Awesome house. All right, 1480 Long Branch Drive, and this is on the north side of town again, uh, out, out near UWF and um, all that out there up the nine mile corridor. Three bedroom, two bath, almost 2,200 square feet of living. And this has, as you can see, a beautiful in-ground pool. Acid stained floors, That's gorgeous. Awesome. Awesome. Kitchen's gorgeous. You got the wine cooler there. Uh, chill your wine, and that's pretty cool too. And uh, yeah, we, it, this house is in com uh, completely, well, I won't say completely renovated, but it's been up updated almost throughout. And it is a beautiful house ready to go. All right, the last one, 2652 Settlers. Con we, we mourn having to advertise this house again it's been under contract for four months and um one issue after another um you know we don't fail very often troy but we're not afraid to admit we, we didn't fail well, actually, we didn't fail but we didn't all. get the closing so you know what yeah. i take i yeah. take I, sure. I, I take responsibility to sure. close it's on sure. us sure but 
this, I tell you what, this is an opportunity for somebody else. Someone's going to get this home and they're going to love this house and they're mm -hmm. going to, they're going to realize it was, it was providence for them to have this because everything that we've gone through with the other buyer and now it's you know, to be able to, yeah. all repairs have been made. I will say I just met a client out there though. It's looking like they want me to write up an offer. I just got a text. So it may not be available for too much longer. However, still give us a call, uh, yeah, 941home.com. Um, this is Gulf Breeze. This yeah. is I mean, pool home with eight thousand dollars in renovations to the pool. I mean, there's literally nothing that needs to be done to this house. That's awesome. All. Yeah. All right. Yeah. The next one, and again, MarkDowningAssociates.com, TroyAlsaker.com, A L S A K E R.com. All right. Um, Woodlake Trace. This is a rental. This is one of two rentals, and usually our rentals we're putting them on the market just before the tenants vacate and they're renting very quickly. So I'm not sure the status of this home, but this is a, a Gulf Breeze home as well in a phenomenal location. And uh, this is a, a, a unbelievable house. And actually it was owned by a celebrity. It's pretty cool, pretty football, cool story. I can't tell player, you. Right? I almost hey, listened. Hey, 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 easy, easy, easy. We're not allowed to you know, divulge information here. Um, There's but, five uh, million football players. Yeah. <laughs> five million? Oh, wow. More than that in the past. Yeah, in the history of NFL. Yeah, it's well, I don't know. I don't know. We have to, that's a, that'd be interesting to Google, actually. Mm -hmm. All right. So anyway, yeah, in-ground pool, as you can see, gorgeous house, beautiful home for $2,400 a month. And the last one is 7017 Balboa, kind of the flip end of the, the scale that we manage. We manage homes between 3000 and about 750 So this is the bottom end. Uh, we love our homes like this. We, we try to put them in, make them very nice and very good, clean condition. Generally, we, we want to um, have new floor and paint, all the walls painted. I can't speak today, like I said. Um, so, you know, it's, it's on the lower end, but these are really nice homes that we manage. So We only um, have two available rentals? Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's it. Wow. That's it. Um, I do have a couple new ones, and we, you guys can come back to us. Um, oh, I wanted to get in the camera. That was horrible. <laughs> anyway like a Sean Hannity where he throws a football. No, um, but um, we do have a couple new rentals coming online very soon. So, you know, keep an eye on the website. Like I said, you can check with our office and get your name on the list and we'll be glad to give you, uh, you know, information on new ones that we have coming up. I've got a couple out on the Southwest section of Pensacola coming up and then I think a couple more of that. Um, as, as we've heard in the news, there's one less property manager in town. I won't say anything uh, regarding who that might be. But, um, but you know, it, it, um, and I'm not going to rub it in or anything, and I've actually, you know, been very careful about what I say about this, but um, it, it goes to show that it's very important to select your property manager. Right. Um, it's, it is a, a huge responsibility. In fact, uh, anybody that knows me, the only anxieties I have in life are over property management. Right. Um, it really is because I take it so seriously. I wish I didn't take it so seriously, but I care so much about what I do. I care about being perfect in what we do. Um, right down to our books. Uh, we have a multiple layer process in making sure our books are perfect. Right. Um, I have a feeling that there's a lot of people out there that don't take that same type of, of um, you know, seriousness to this. And, well, yeah, I mean, they're out, you know, vacationing in Aruba. I mean, they're just, you know, they're not caring about property <laughs> management and getting down to the what business to end say? of it, man. <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. I've never been to Aruba. <laughs> anyway. No, Mark's the best in the business, man. And like you said, you got to be very wise at who you choose to rent your property out because that's a big investment. And <clears throat> you want to make sure that you have somebody that has your best interest in mind and is going to protect your, your home. And that's yeah. why Mark's been so successful over the last, what, 15 years? 20 years. 20 years. At well, you know, so. and <clears throat> well, I've, been, I've actually been doing, you're right, property management for 15. I've been in the business for 20 now. Um, but you know, um, reputation is important, mm -hmm. and uh, taking care of people is is very important to me. Absolutely. And actually, I invite people to go to uh, to Google and do our Google Plus page and check out our reviews. Yep. Um, I actually have some negative reviews on there, and I'm not afraid to say it. A lot of times, it's tenants. Um, in fact, I think most of them are tenants. Right. Um, You'll get that. I'd say 99% of them are tenants. But and the reason why is because we hold people to the to the terms of the lease. We have a lease that is there for a reason. Which is a legally people, binding contract. We go, we go right down to, to, to in our lease saying exactly what people need to do right. to get their deposit back. We want them to have every penny of their deposit. Right. We don't want to keep their deposit. We don't get to keep a penny. I don't get to keep a penny of it. Right. It goes to the owner, which the owner actually uses it to make repairs. So nobody's getting it except for the contract. I guess the contractors are getting rich, but um, not really. But 
Um, but you know, we, we, we delineate exactly what you need to do to get your money back. And if you don't follow it, then that's not my fault. And I, I can't be held responsible for that. But a lot of people say that. But anyway, my point was, is if you go check out the reviews, um, you're going to see that, you know, we have very good reviews from our owners. Uh, our clients are very satisfied with our, our service. And I think that's even a tenants what we do. I've seen on Facebook, great reviews. And yeah, we, yeah, exactly. Yeah. We have a lot of so, reviews. Yeah. People that follow the rules and do what they're supposed to, you're going to love us. They're going to love us. We take care of both sides, both the tenants and the homeowners. Yeah, if absolutely. you don't follow the rules, you get mad at us. It's not our fault, man. Sorry. Yeah, and then you know we'll do everything we can to help out. We always tr we always try, but some people are just right. unreasonable, and they're just not you're not capable of satisfying everybody. I mean, right. I waited tables before uh, when I was in college before I got in this business, mm -hmm. and I realized very quickly it was actually a great stepping stone to this business. It taught me a lot um, having to deal with that. I, I figured out that no matter what you do, you can't satisfy people. That's it's just some people matter. just can't be satisfied. I yeah. mean, yeah. you bring them uh, you know a steak, they wanted it medium rare. You bring it. It comes out medium. You apologize. You bring it back. It's then. Then it's too rare the next right. time. You know, oh, yeah. uh, even though it probably is medium rare. But right. right. I shouldn't actually complain about. It. I, I've complained about a couple of steaks before. But yeah, but steaks is a bad yeah, example because I'm super staunch on that too. Yeah, medium that's, that's one medium thing that's kind rare. Right. Man. Exactly. Bad example. <laughs> but hey, we're getting a wrap up signal. Um, you know, we're always ready to talk to you about real estate if you want. So let us know. Uh, that's Tro Troy Allsaker. I'm Mark Downey, and that's the last word.